Now for more on the economic ties between China and the U.S., we're joined by Sunny Wang, General Manager of Broad USA. Welcome to the show. Thank you. Now, Sunny, as an executive of a Chinese company operating in the U.S., how do you feel about the current business environment? In general, as the largest economy and the most developed country of the world, I feel uh, quite positive about the U.S. business environment. It's a uh, 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 more long-term reliable and more business friendly. All the players in the market are committed to the, uh, uh, the business code of conduct and also the, uh, 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 the business integrity. Uh, so that's why we set our business here 20 years ago. We like to learn the uh, innovation capacity and also the, the professional in the fields of service. Right. Now, certainly a lot has changed, obviously, in the last 20 years, and a lot has changed with the administrations, with the incoming Trump administration. So what has been the biggest difference with this new Trump administration when it comes to the business environment? Well, frankly speaking, uh, when the administration changed, and uh, I felt a little bit mingled, a feeling mingled with hope and joy, and, and also the, the fear, uh, the, 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 the we are a little bit concerned about the, the, the policies of the new government, especially uh, the uh, proposed two policies on the uh, Trump's president's agenda, which is leverage the uh, tariffs of the, of the uh, products importing from China, and also uh, 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 kind of the, uh, facilitating Bar American, higher American policy, which will have a huge influence on our operation in the U.S. market. But not all the uh, policies are the, concern, are the roots of the concerns, like the new governments try to advocate the expenditure on the infrastructure, which I believe will be the positive news for all involved parts, including Chinese enterprises. Now, how are you changing or adapting your strategies as a result of some of the new policies? Uh, actually, uh, we uh, definitely encouraged by the result which achieved after the first meeting of the two leaders' summit in this April. So, by, uh, we encouraged by this, we feel optimistic and confident about the future in the next three to five years. So, that's why we, uh, uh, for example, we recently uh, has worked with a U.S. Uh, well-recognized manufacturer uh, and uh, to jointly apply the eco-partnership program. And uh, we uh, jointly launched the program for the research of the pre-engineering and uh, also for the demo projects in both sides. And we certainly saw a very friendly meeting at Mar-a-Lago, and one of the fruits of that was this 100-day action plan. What's your take on the amount of progress that we've seen on that front? Actually, 100-day plan looks like a, a new start point for a bilateral relationship and uh, is injected a kind of the certainty for the U.S. and China economic and trade relationship. And uh, after a long period of guessing and speculation of uh, uh, each other, so I think it's uh, uh, very positive from all walks of the uh, lives of the society. Now, we also had the CEOs of, um, of China and of the U.S. really sitting down and talking together. Why is that important to have that face-to-face -face interaction with these two business communities? Uh, actually, I attended the, this morning the, uh, the event in welcoming of the Chinese delegates led by the Vice Premier Wang Yang. And uh, uh, during his speech, he mentioned one thing, that uh, the U.S. and China uh, relationship is driven not by government, it's by the people-to-people, uh, -people, especially the business communities. It's a marketing-driven. So I think for the business communities, they like to make a deal instead of the break a deal. So they are the problem-oriented, they are very realistic. I think they like to see uh, uh, the positive sides of, uh, of the things. So that's why I think they uh, has a, a, a very uh, interactive contact and dialogue. So then in terms of the suggestions that you have for Chinese companies who want to expand into the U.S., what would you tell them? Oh, uh, many things, but uh, the 
top two things. First, uh, do some preparation before you setting up your feed in the US market and uh, to get more uh, intelligence in the market, legal, ser legal services. And second, when you roam, do as Romans do, uh, try to uh, localize your operation in the US market, hire the local staff, utilize your local service chains and, uh, uh, and service uh, uh, providers. Certainly research is key. Thank you so much Thank to Sunny Wang, General Manager at Broad USA.